So what the hell happened with Cambridge Analytica? This was started by Cambridge professor Alex Kogan, who was interested in data science. His app, GSR, used a personality quiz to collect personal data from Facebook. Dr. Alexander Kogan. His research involved analyzing Facebook profiles, and he's held a position as associate professor at St. Petersburg State University. Thousands of Facebook users were paid to download an app and fill out a personality survey through Kogan's company, GSR. The data was shared with Cambridge Analytica. Kogan oversaw this separately from his role at Cambridge University and St. Petersburg University. Finally, BuzzFeed quizzes have a purpose, albeit a nefarious one of collecting quantitative information about your personality, emotions, and general humanity, but BuzzFeed can finally sit at the top of the corporate journalistic throne with CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC for manipulating human beings under the guise of being news. I, I, am, I am sure that somebody is really proud of you, BuzzFeed. Now, Facebook allowed for this data mining because it was only going to be used for academic purposes and to feed the itch that human beings have for mining things. You know, with how dangerous coal mining is, not just for humans, but also the planet, we decided to steer away from that. And now we're mining data in the abstracted digital landscape we created hollowing out those series of tubes for their pixelated gold. Unfortunately, Kogan shared his data with Cambridge Analytica. As was pointed out by whistleblower and former data analyst Christopher Wiley, they thought this data was fair game to use for commercial means. Former Cambridge Analytica research director Chris Wiley said the data grab harvested 50 million Facebook records. This allowed it to move into the hearts and minds of American voters. Facebook said that the data should have only been used for academic purposes and shouldn't have been passed to Cambridge Analytica. But Kogan claims he had the right to use the data commercially. Cambridge Analytica, Kogan and Wiley have been suspended from Facebook while it investigates. Which means a British company did something absolutely American. Assume something that wasn't really yours was yours and used for commercial and profitable gains. I feel like this is UK finally accepting the loss of the revolution and this way they're getting their comeuppance. Cambridge Analytica was funded by Robert Mercer, the billionaire who funded the Trump campaign, and his daughter Rebecca served on the board. And Steve Bannon, Trump's former chief strategist, was the vice president of this company at one time. Cambridge Analytica was funded by Republican billionaire Robert Mercer, and his daughter Rebecca served on the board. Steve Bannon is a former vice president of the company, which was hired by the Trump campaign. Bannon went on to become the chief executive of the campaign and later became a key advisor in Trump's White House. The most senior Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee wants Wiley's claims investigated. As Robert Mueller continues his probe into alleged Russian interference in the 2016 election. With that information, Cambridge Analytica was realistically not built just to help Trump win the election, but also to help him figure out what the internet was and how to actually use Twitter. They failed on half their purposes, but the other half, that, that, that other half went pretty swimmingly. And this is why Luddites exist, right? It's why people are still saying the internet is a fad. Because power uses technological advances in adverse ways. So they figure they'll just run it dry and move on to the next thing. If technology isn't meant to progress and advance the lives of people, then you know, we should probably just put it in the back burner. But that's what we should really be doing with technology, is bettering ourselves and our lives.